Hey guys and welcome to another Miniature Adventures review. So today we're going to be looking at Sentinels of the Multiverse again. This time though, the first and biggest expansion that came out and then the third one. Now, you may be saying well it's just one box. Well you see they were separated um, when they first came out, but it came out at different times. Um, and then they've combined it into one double expansion which is about the same size as the original box. Same great artwork beautiful artwork. So let's take a look. So this is Sentinels in the Multiverse, Rook City and Infernal Relics. So Rook City kind of just adds like a nitty gritty the Watchmen style kind of city where your heroes and villains can kind of fight it out. You know the back alleys. Infernal Relics adds magic. So not just superpowers now or assassins and things like that but now we're talking magic and and the things that come with that. So again, you get the booklet. Now, there isn't really many in here that kind of changes much, honestly, which is why there aren't really any rules. Um, it does go through the new heroes. So we have the uh, expatriate, Mr. Fixer, the Argent Adept, which is our new magic user, and Night Mist, which is also. And then the new villain, villains. So the chairman, the, uh, which is kind of like, you know, Lex Luthor. I would say the matriarch. Uh, she's pretty. Uh, she's pretty cool. Kind of think. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, Stephen King, kind of the birds or the crow or something like that. Playground giant uh, man who basically becomes a rat. Think Splinter if he went bad. Uh, Spite, which is basically a serial killer. Um, you know, and then he basically becomes a secret project. Um, I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong. Akash Buta, which is basically like the spirit of chaos. So we're getting into like demons and things. Apostate is the opposite of fanatic. So this guy is the angel of vengeance. The Anid, um, which is basically just kind of like uh, a band of super villains as a team. But not like some of the later ones. And then Gloomweather, which is also kind of like a demon. So, in this, we get new cards, uh, sorry, new um, action counters, new ones like Toxic and Fire, which we kind of had Fire with Ra, but more to those. Same great um, context. Now, for some reason with these, we get two copies of um, the inserts. So, we're not going to go through them all, but um, the combined sets basically give us the Argent Adept expatriate, Mr. Fixer, Night Mist, Akasha, Buta, Apostate, the Chairman, the Need, Gloom Weaver, the Matriarch, Plague Rat, Spite, and then we have the Tomb of Anubis, which is a great little one. It adds kind of mummies and things like that. Rook City, obviously, Realm of Discord, which is kind of like, if you imagine we're in Ant-Man, Ant-Man and Wasp, the Quantum Realm, in a way. Pike Industrial, which is kind of just like an expansion for Rook City, uh, I'm going to do a complex, and then uh, the final wasteland, which is kind of like, uh, I'm trying to think the best way to explain it, actually, no, the final wasteland is a Kickstarter, my, my apologies, but we'll take a look at that one, actually, <laughs> so Kickstarter, so obviously they did some Kickstarters, I didn't realise that the final wasteland was even in here, that's quite cool, um, we'll take a look at that, so, Vulnerable Snowman, Rat Beasts, the horrid skunks. So these are kind of like you know, you you, I'd say normal Mongolian death worm. There's actually a movie about that. That was kind of crazy. Bunkers, devil, ancient library. So that's quite cool actually. I didn't realise that. I was going to buy that off eBay. So I'm glad that that kind of came with it. So let's go back to this. So the Argent Adept, basically, new magic user adds magic to the game. It's great. Like, he just has some cool abilities. Um, kind of like the uh, Infinity Stones. Um, yeah, and just, I mean, again, we're going back to the artwork on this is just beautiful. Um, Adam Roboto just really kicked it up a notch with these. The Expatriate is a good one. Mr. Fix and Night Mist. Then we kind of get into, you know, the bad ones. So, like a buck. Akash Buta, you know, um, Allies of the Earth, um, 
you know, kind of in tune. So he's like an elemental kind of demon. Great kind of adds a lot more depth to the game. Um, the matriarch and, and plague rat again, you know, they kind of add a lot more depth and a lot more change to the game. I mean, look at these. This is just beautiful. Oh yeah, so here he can infect people with a disease that causes them to attack on each other, which is pretty um, mad when you consider, you know, going against the heroes. Um, then we have Spite, who's a uh, villain. Let's take a look at the Tomb of Anubis. So here we go, kind of mummies, the Rod of Anubis, um, a mummy, challenges, everything you could imagine actually in a Egyptian themed adventure. I mean, you know, this is just beautiful and I really, I haven't played this one yet, but I'm going to. That is definitely the next way to go. Let's take a look at the Realm of Discord. Again, here we go, you can see kind of all the different multiverse kind of things happening portal fiends positive energy fields time flies i mean this set just adds or these sets i should say just adds so much more to this game that already with the, the original box set plus some of the expansions i think we showed you misinformation but you've got like the scholar ambuscade the final wasteland silver gulch um even with those it added a lot and then we have these two expansions which just they just add so much to this game this game is just beyond great now there is enough room in here for actually both sets um but once we start getting along the expansions then you'll realize that they don't all fit in one box um i love the layout of these boxes um i mean this the artwork is just phenomenal all the way through i mean Here's Mr. Fixer, and he's just a martial artist. He isn't. He doesn't really have any superpowers. He just is a martial artist. Um, Night Mist. She's kind of like an illusionist, really. You know, master of magic. Again, so she does have some magic. Nowhere near the Argent Adept. Um, and yeah, and then the Chairman and things like that. So this is um, Sentinels in the Multiverse. Rook City and Infernal Relics. Um, this cost me about mm, 30 bucks on eBay. Um, and you can, in theory, you could actually play this expansion on its own. Now, what I'm going to do is have my team of four heroes, maybe five, and try and work through all the expansion, all of these, all the way through, including the original ones, and kind of make a story out of it. Um, we'll probably record that. But yes, Sentinel Multiverse. Didn't think it could get any better. This, these two expansions, this double expansion box just blew me out of the water. Like, yeah, it <laughs> made me love this game even more. It's just, it's crazy. Uh, you know, it's, it's phenomenal. So here's the, the kind of in comparison. So we've got, we haven't really got any ones in here. So it does crank it up a notch. Um... But yeah, I mean, Chairman and the Major uh, Difficulty 4, Plague Rat, Spite, Abelkusta, and Apostator 2s, the Aeneid and Gloomweaver 3s, that's about roughly right. The Argent, Adept, and Mistweaver 3s because of the magic. The Expatriate and Mr. Fixer 2s, um, just because they're not, you know, the box standard heroes. So, I mean, guys, look, if you like comic books, you like superheroes, and you like fighting get these expansions get this game get these expansions i cannot say that enough all right guys so that's all for me today um please consider subscribing if you're not already um like the video hit that bell notification head on over to honda hobbies and we have a lot of merchandise over there for you to help support the channel we have things like this great water bottle we have mugs, we have um, some great coasters, um, and then we have t-shirts. We also have Patreon, and it just helps keep the lights on and keep this channel going and uh, self-sufficient. So that's all from us, guys. 
You have a great evening, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.